guys, welcome back to another uh, weather video. Weather video. I'm gonna have to don't wanna zoom in too far. So we're talking. So we're talking about a uh, significant windbag event on Saturday. Could this could be a, it's definitely a significant severe weather outbreak? We're gonna go talk about it because this could be so a. Uh, Almost uh, millions, almost a million Amer million people or million Americans in, in this risk this weekend. So we're watching this area for severe weather this weekend, okay? So let's go to the uh, weather models here. Let's go to uh, let's go to the CMC model. Okay, no, we're gonna do something real first. Okay, we're gonna be stay here, and we're gonna go. To the north central U.S. Okay, this is where it's going to take shape. It's going to take shape on Saturday. Okay, here's where that enhanced risk is going to be. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, here's where that enhanced risk is going to be. As you can see, look at the energy that's going to produce. And there could, I'm going to see if there's any. There may, there, like I said, there could even be some severe weather, uh, yeah, there could be some severe weather Sunday as well. So we're going to be watching these regions into Sunday as well. And so we're watching all of that kind of stuff. So we're going to go check out the CMC model. And we're going to check out the precip. This is where we're tra are currently offline. 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 God. Offline. Let's... Ugh, this is ridiculous. Let's go to the National Weather Service. Sorry about that, guys. That that just it just went offline. Hmm. Weak. Yep, weak. Having some internet issues today. It's okay. We're going to go to. Uh, yep, we're going to go to uh, the. This model, because it's what I, ch I always check this model run. We're going to take the BC Outlooks off. Because we're going to Saturday on this. I can't get out of here, so. Let's take that off. Okay. All right, no fire risk today. Let's do something. This ain't working. What is going on? Okay, this is Saturday. We're not worried about this. We're worried about this part of the country. You can see how that takes shape, okay? We can't check that model right now unless I... Do something with the Wi-Fi, because it is not working. Not working. It's weak. Yeah, we're going to... I'll do a real quick video, and we'll try and make another video later, okay? Because it ain't working right. It's not working like I wanted to. Yeah, let's check out the super weather that's occurring today. Okay, there's a super dungeon watch here for um, area until 11 p.m. tonight, okay? There's still storms going. Oh, that just reduced. That reduced. Yeah, their that threat's diminishing, okay? But we got showers and thunderstorms over Pennsylvania right now that are popping up again. So, so we're in a general risk again. But we're what? We're going to go back. And we're going to talk about this. This is what we're basically talking about. As we know, it is going to be significant, and we're going to go to a area, we're going to, I can't actually read that, I can read it, but we're going to this part of the thing, if it works, yeah, we're going to here, and we're definitely going to check out the storm, storm prediction outlooks, SPC outlook, we're not going for the day, we're going for day three, that's what we are looking at right now is day three. So it says something about something could end end up being significant. Okay, it should there is all day 
could have some pro little bit of problems, but but I think if that cap breaks, So we might have a marginal risk for New England, so we're going to be watching that too. We could have some severe weather for New England too, but we don't know what it's going to be ahead of this uh, area, but this is the area we are definitely watching, okay? This is the, so that hatched area is where that potential for, uh, 30, SIG means 40, 40, 30 and significant wind events, okay? I know, you know, that's not a real big enhanced risk. But if it gets any bigger tomorrow, we might have to talk about a, mo a possibility of a moderate risk, okay? Something we might have to watch out for in the in upcoming future outlooks. We might have to watch out for a moderate risk somewhere in that significant area. We're definitely watching that, okay? This is definitely, we're watching this take place. So let's check out the... Uh, the Midwest, that's where this fret is going to take shape. This is where it's going to happen. Right out in here, okay? This is where exactly where it's going to happen, okay? This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is, this is, this is Friday afternoon. We could have a couple, yeah, we could have some severe storms. Yeah, like, we're, we might get some severe weather th tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon as well, where we're living at. We might, oh yeah, that's setting up for a couple chances there, but Saturday, Saturday, yes, yeah, we have multiple chances, but, but this is where it just, it just, look at it, it rises right there, look. See, that's where that, the risk, that's where that risk is going to take shape, you can see the moisture in the air, so we're, yeah, we got to see what's causing the... Oh, my. Let's see causing these thunderstorms here this afternoon. Because we might get a couple showers tonight, so... Can't rule that out here, but look. Look as we head into Friday night. Just look at this into Saturday morning. Come on. That's bad. Look at the... That is just downright bad, okay? That is not good. See that? That's a, That's where that enhanced risk is going to be. Look at... Look at this... Look at Friday morning. Okay, that's not good. And it looks like it, we could get it too. Like it's not good. This is not good. Yeah, let's check about the northeast because this could be another issue. Yeah, look at today. This is what this is where that severe weather is occurring today. Look at that. Just look, seventies. Okay. Yeah, we got some humidity, but look at Friday afternoon. Yeah, Friday afternoon. Look. Look at the humidity right there. It just rises. Could have a slight risk tomorrow in these regions. So we're watching. But what I'm really concerned about is the Midwest, okay? This is something we're mainly concerned about because this weekend could be horrific. It could end up being very horrific. Just look at that. Yeah, bunch of moisture. Let's check out the... The Shiraz probs ability. Let's check this out for winds. See how much winds are gonna be in this situation. Oh man, it's not the cap is there's there's not a lot of cap. It yeah, there's a surface based cape. Okay, there's plenty of surface based cape. Look at that. This it's just it's it's going to go up like it's it's see that look a thousand joules two two thousand. 2,000, there's 2,000 readings there, there's 3,000 readings in here, there could definitely be something significant to watch for, something we are definitely being most concerned about, okay, damaging winds, large hail, and the threat for tornadoes, but very large hail and significant winds are the primary threats, okay, with this, primary threats, see, that's a big complex, okay, 
see this? I might get some tornadoes with this. I'll tell you why. See how that? It's just got some. Oh yeah, we look at that. We got some change in wind direction. That's some wind. That's wind shear, guys. That's a bunch of wind shear in the atmosphere. That's see that. See it. It shows development. It just shows it. Like look, it just. It looks like enough and now, but watch it Saturday morning. It explodes. It just explodes into something very crazy. It just explodes, guys. It just does. Now we got our thing back, and let's go back to the Canadian model. Okay, now our weather models are back. I'm happy. It's working again. Let's do this again. Okay, let's go to uh, the precip. Here we go. This is the Canadian model. We're watching into Saturday. Okay, Saturday shows that. See that? Look. Saturday, see it? It's still showing that. Look, Saturday, there's that complex. See, it, it, it's, it's like, it, it might it might not happen to late Saturday night, but it starts developing around the enhanced risk area as it moves. There's that pink area of uh, the ratio potential, large hail. Yeah, it'll start off as supercells. See how it's like starting off as supercells? These could be the ones that they're by, like, later in the evening, there'll be a greater tornado threat. Then more storms develop later on in the evening because there could be, there could be a threat of severe weather into Sunday. What to pay attention to, though. This is a very strong storm system to be on high alert for. Very strong. Look, this. Look, I know we can't, but look. That's, that's, that's what you see, guys. That's pink. That's just really pink. Okay, look. That is, that is, a, that's, that right there is bad. Okay, that does not look good at all. So make sure you guys like and subscribe to my next video, okay? This is a very big Skin Can Talk video. Subscribe, because this video is going to be a little longer, but this is exactly what we're talking about. Check out the forticity on this. The vort winds, okay. That that's you know you can tell it, it, it's like it's 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 here Saturday morning, okay. Zero odds Saturday, it, it's nothing. But watch what happens into Saturday evening. Cyclonic vorticity, okay. Look, it gets really strong by the Great Lakes, okay. This event goes into Saturday, and we got more to come into the upcoming future. So I will be talking about what more events, okay. But one thing um, that we might be seeing after this storm system goes through, we're going to talk about a big, not a real big cool down, but a good enough cool down. It could be nice. Let's talk, it, it, look how much relief we might get. This this looks nice, okay? After this uh, severe weather happens, it's going to be hot, but watch what happens. We might have some relief for some people. So if you're tired of the heat, this is for you. Look at that. If you're tired of the hot weather, this is definitely coming for you. This is looking perfect. I'm liking this. Look at that. Oh, yeah. No, but then it's going to warm up again. But look at the cool air that just keeps coming down from Canada. That's just great. That's great. Okay, that's great news. That's actually great news for your weather boy over here. So as that see that July twenty seventh gonna this this line of storms y'all it's going to bring a very big very very big very big cool down this line of thunderstorms on the twentieth is gonna bring a cool down it's gonna be wonderful very wonderful but what I'm really concerned about is this weekend look at that 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 right there just defines a very significant wind bag see how this enhanced risk reminds with that. And that, look at that, just this over there. Near, near Michigan, okay? Michigan, uh, Wisconsin, Green Bay, Wisconsin. You're gonna, you, you see it, it's, it, it's, just, there's, a, the, look. See these little yellow dots and little green spots? Them are individual discrete thunderstorms, okay? These, these have the potential to drop tornadoes and possibly some could be strong, in fact. Strong. And I'm not lying. Yeah, this, this this storm got a bean shape, another bean. Yeah, this look at this got a bean. Look, that one definitely got the bean shape. Okay, that is just look. There's those supercells there. There's that big gold. That that right there could have a hell core in that sucker as it moves in. See, it moves in over the lakes. But guess what? As the afternoon goes on a Monday morning, look, it just redevelops. 
into an, a, a complex of thunderstorms as we, it redevelops. Like in the Monday morning, it just develops and you're here and the watch will probably be issued for the rest of the evening. Boom. So we're definitely, this is the storm system that's going to impact our area as well. It's going to bring a cold front. It's going to bring a, a cool down for some. Yep, watch. As it comes in, it just, look. Wait. Let's see what the highs are going to be with this cool down. Oh my goodness. By Sunday, July 33rd, it's going to be only 68 degrees. Nice. That's nice. That's really nice, guys. That, to me, is just wonderful. Wonderful. That's nice. That, that's just downright nice, y'all. That If that was a high, that would be just great. That would be great. See that? that that's like, going to have multiple chances of severe weather. Over the month's timeline, so we'll now we since we talk about the severe weather part, now we're going to talk about the rest of the month of July for the Connus US. Okay, let's go back. This video is a little longer than usual. Okay, let's talk about the simulated our satellite. Look at that, just look at that. Okay, that's Sunday. Oh, wow. See the fret? It does go into Sunday. It just downright does it. Okay, look. See, this is this is the rest of the month. Okay, look, the rest of the month, the rest of the month for active severe weather. Whoa, that is look, that's bad. Look, seventy negative seventy eighty odd uh, cloud tops. What? Yeah, that that could that could be another like last night big lightning producer. Last night was. The sky was flashing like a nut. Man, that storm, you ought to have seen it. Like, on the National Weather Intensity Flashlight. Fra oh no, flash rate. It was insane. Okay. This is a derecho. Look at that. That that has another that's another derecho. See, it starts in the same place. Let's go back. You guess what? There could be another enhanced risk on the 28th. Look, it starts in the same place as this enhanced risk today. This Saturday, look, there we go. Look, same same thing. Look, another derecho. Look, look how powerful, look how powerful that could be. That could be a derecho for the same areas that got hit in June, same areas that got hit in June of 2022. Okay, this is just how it is. You can see it how it is, how it goes, and it's the way it is. So I'm back officially back. I know I don't like people seeing the keyboard either. But, that's what you're looking at. And that's probably it for the <clears throat> video. And, uh, so that is what, what it looks like. Uh, on that. You can see how it is. See how it is just shapes up. That's what it that's what it looks like to me. That's what it looks like. So Let's go back to the enhanced risk once again. This is this is what this is what it shows for you guys a significant outbreak. Even in the Sunday, everybody. Even in the Sunday. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. This will end at 20 minutes. 20 minutes, guys. 20 minutes. I will be dropping this video immediately. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the hunter. Yep, that just refreshed. That is a significant risk. Let's go over the populations, okay? So, let's start off in that enhanced risk, that 30%. So, there's two, two, okay, SIG severe. There's 7 million people in that SIG, SIG severe. Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota, Madison, Wisconsin, Rochester, Minnesota, Bloomington, Minnesota, Madison, Wisconsin, Ro okay, this could be, okay, here's the areas that are in a marginal. A lot more people. Chicago, Illinois, Detroit, Michigan, Omaha, Nebraska, Toledo, Ohio, and Lincoln, Nebraska. 
downward zones. The, there's over millions of people getting impacted by this event. This could have the potential of becoming, see it right there, it says it right here, it says, Scatter serious thunderstorms should occur Saturday across parts of uh, the upper Midwest. A few tornadoes, large, very large hail, and significant wind gust all appear possible. Yep, a significant wind bag is about to take shape. Okay, a very significant wind bag. That, that's a derecho. That could be classified as a derecho, and people need to be on high alert. So I will end this video right here and have a good day.